In an atmosphere charged with tension, the walls of the Vatican tremble in the face of a revelation that could shock the entire world. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, prepare for a journey through the intricacies of a prophecy casting a disturbing shadow over the very heart of the Church. What connects Russian President Vladimir Putin to the Third Secret of Fatima, and why is this connection sowing terror in the soul of the Holy Father? Stay with us until the end of this video to discover a truth that could change the course of history forever. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Beloved faithful, today we face a situation that requires all our attention and prayer. The Vatican, the pulsating heart of Christianity, is shaken by increasingly insistent rumors linking Russian President Vladimir Putin to the third secret of Fatima. This news, circulating in the corridors of the Holy See, has cast a shadow of concern on the face of the Holy Father. To fully understand the scope of this revelation, we must take a step back and remember the events that led to the birth of the secrets of Fatima. In distant 1917, in the small Portuguese town of Fatima, three young shepherds, Lucia dos Santos and her cousins Jacinta and Francisco Mardo, witnessed Marian apparitions that shook the Catholic world. During these apparitions, Our Lady revealed three secrets to the children, the last of which. The third secret of Fatima has been the subject of speculation and debate for decades. The third secret, made public only in 2000 by Pope John Paul II, spoke of a bishop dressed in white, who would fall under the blows of a firearm. Many interpreted this vision as a prophecy of the 1981 assassination attempt on Pope John Paul II. However, some voices within the Church have always maintained that the revealed secret was incomplete or even altered. And this is where Vladimir Putin comes into play. According to anonymous sources close to the Vatican, the Russian president is in possession of explosive information regarding the true content of the third secret. If made public, this information could question not only the official interpretation of the secret but also the very stability of the Catholic Church. But what could this alleged, true, third secret contain that is terrifying the Pope? The speculations are many and varied. Some argue that it could be a prophecy concerning a global conflict in which Russia would be the protagonist. Others hypothesize that it could contain revelations about the end times or catastrophic events that would hit the earth. Some even suggest that the secret could concern radical changes within the church itself, perhaps even predicting a schism or the end of the papacy as we know it. What is certain is that the idea that Putin could be in possession of such information is causing turmoil in the highest ecclesiastical ranks. The Holy Father, according to close sources, is deeply troubled by this situation. The possibility that the Russian president could use this information as political leverage or as a tool of pressure on the Holy See is a prospect keeping many in the Vatican awake. But why would Putin be interested in the third secret of Fatima? To fully understand this situation, we must consider the current geopolitical context. Putin's Russia has always sought to position itself as a bulwark of traditional and Christian values, in contrast to a perceived decadent and secularized West. Possessing such sensitive information could confer on Putin an aura of spiritual authority, strengthening his position both internationally and domestically. Moreover, we cannot ignore the fact that Russia has always had a complex relationship with the apparitions of Fatima. The second secret, in particular, spoke of the conversion of Russia and its return to faith. This prophecy has always had significant weight in relations between the Holy See and Moscow. If Putin were indeed in possession of additional information about the Third Secret, these could have profound implications for Russia's role in the global religious landscape. Dear brothers and sisters, in this moment of uncertainty and concern, it is more important than ever to remain united in prayer. We invite you to recite with us, Lord, guide us through these turbulent times. Enlighten the minds of our spiritual and temporal leaders so that they may act with wisdom and discernment. Protect your church from those who seek to divide and weaken it. And if it is your will, let the truth emerge, whatever it may be. Amen. If you share this prayer and want to join us in this moment of reflection, we invite you to comment with the word, Amen, below this video. But let's return to our analysis. The implications of this situation go far beyond the religious context. If Putin were truly in possession of such sensitive information, this could alter geopolitical balances on a global scale. 
The Catholic Church, with its over 1.3 billion faithful worldwide, has enormous influence on international dynamics. The idea that a power like Russia could exert a form of spiritual blackmail on the Vatican is a prospect that worries not only Catholics but also political leaders worldwide. We must also consider the timing of these revelations. At a time when the world is facing unprecedented challenges, from the pandemic to climate change, from geopolitical tensions to economic crises, the emergence of a potential spiritual crisis of this magnitude could have destabilizing effects on a global scale. But what is the Vatican doing to address this situation? According to our sources, the Holy Father has convened a series of confidential meetings with the highest dignitaries of the Church. It is rumored that experts in prophecies, historians, and even cryptography specialists have been consulted to fully understand the scope of what Putin might know. At the same time, Unofficial diplomatic channels would have been opened with Moscow, attempting to probe the real intentions of the Russian president. The Holy See finds itself in a delicate position, on the one hand, there is the need to protect the integrity of the church and its secrets, on the other, the imperative to avoid a crisis that could have repercussions on a global scale. Dear brothers and sisters, in these moments of uncertainty, it is natural to feel lost and worried. But let us remember that our faith has been forged through centuries of challenges and trials. The Church has overcome persecutions, schisms, and crises of all kinds. And even in the face of this new challenge, we must remain steadfast in our faith and confident in divine guidance. However, we cannot ignore the potential consequences of this situation. If the rumors were confirmed, we could be facing a turning point in the history of the Church and, potentially, of humanity itself. The third secret of Fatima has always exercised a particular fascination on the faithful, fueling speculation and theories for decades. The idea that it could contain even more shocking revelations than those already known is something that shakes the very foundations of our faith. But let us also remember that faith is not based on secrets or sensational revelations. The true essence of Christianity lies in God's love for humanity and the message of salvation brought by Jesus Christ. Whatever may emerge from this situation, we must remain anchored to these fundamental principles. At the same time, we cannot ignore the importance of prophecies and revelations in the Catholic tradition. The Church has always maintained an attitude of cautious openness towards mystical phenomena. Recognizing that God can choose to communicate with humanity in extraordinary ways. The apparitions of Fatima, in particular, have had a profound impact on the Catholic spirituality of the 20th century. But how should we interpret these events in light of the challenges of the 21st century? In an age of fake news and media manipulations, how can we discern the truth? And what role does geopolitics play in all this? These are complex questions that require deep reflection and an open dialogue within the community of believers. Dear friends, as we approach the conclusion of this video, we invite you to reflect on what we have discussed today. What thoughts does this situation provoke in you? How do you think the church should face this challenge? And, above all, how can we, as a community of believers, support the Holy Father and the Church in this difficult moment? We encourage you to share your reflections in the comments below this video. Dialogue and confrontation are essential to face these challenges together. Also, if you want to stay updated on this and other crucial topics for our faith, we warmly invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. By clicking the subscribe button and activating the notification bell, you will always be informed about our new videos and can actively participate in our discussions. In conclusion, dear brothers and sisters, let us remember that regardless of what the future holds for us, our faith remains our beacon in the storm. As Psalm chapter 46, 1-3 reminds us, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. May the peace of Christ be with you all. And remember, the truth, however unsettling, will ultimately always prevail. Continue to follow us to stay updated on this evolving story and all the news concerning our faith and the church. Thank you for your attention and may God bless you.